Today, on the 25th of January, our church celebrates the feast day of the conversion of St. Paul, the Apostle to the Gentiles. And how fitting it is for us to be here in Rome as well, as we know that the two patron saints of Rome are Saints Peter, we all know about the very first uh, Pope, and Saint Paul. And if you go to the Basilica of Saint Paul the Apostle, you'll see right in front there's a beautiful statue of him, and underneath it says, Saint Paul, doctor to the Gentile and preachers of truth. And if we take a look at the conversion of Saint Paul, it's a beautiful story that touches our hearts as well in our own personal conversion with the Lord. You see, in order to understand the key to St. Paul's theology, we need to understand his conversion story. So before St. Paul went about preaching the gospel and the good news and being a witness to Jesus Christ, he was named Saul and he was trained to be a Pharisee. And you know, in the Acts of the Apostles, the story has it that he went about persecuting the Christians. In fact, he didn't like Christians at all. He wanted to go and persecute them. And supposedly the story in the Acts of the Apostle tells us that from uh, his way, uh, Jerusalem to Damascus, on his way there, he encountered a lightning from the sky and his conversion story. The key point to understand it is this. His personal encounter with Jesus Christ at that moment changed his life. And what we see later on as Paul writes his epistles is that becomes a defining moment in his personal journey of conversion. It's a very beautiful journey uh, for St. Paul. And after his conversion, he goes about all over the Mediterranean to proclaim the message of Jesus Christ. You know, if we were to have to summarize St. Paul's theology into, uh, into like one line or one phrase, it's his personal encounter with the risen Christ and that changed everything for him. In fact, you know, it's St. Paul who says, if Christ is not risen, then everything I say, everything I preach, it's all in vain. But Christ is risen, and that changes everything. Dear friends in Christ, as we take a look at St. Paul's conversion story, what we realize is who Paul is before he went about and proclaimed the gospel, and who he became. And we see this personal conversion in him, how it transformed him. And for us as well, take a look at our own personal lives. You know, we all struggle with different things, particularly sin, particularly our past, for example. And we know that our past does not define us. Our past helps us to grow and to change. And that's Paul's message as well. You know, uh, if we were to summarize uh, his writings, what we see is he alludes to who he was before he met Christ and how Christ changed him, and how he no longer is living to his old self, but he's transformed anew in Christ, and he brings the message of the gospel to, uh, to others so that they can know Christ and in it be saved. If I were to summarize St. Paul's theology, it goes something like this. Because of sin, because of Adam and Eve, all fall short you know, of heaven, and the law is given to us, but the law does not save. The law cannot save. And so who can save? Well, it's Jesus Christ. And so since we cannot attain to the law, we cannot earn our own salvation, God came down to offer to us the greatest gift of all, the gift of His own love, the gift of the Word made flesh. And as such, if we truly believe in Him, if we truly have faith, that's the key word, then we will uh, we will we'll be saved in Jesus Christ, who loved us to the end. Now, there's many more things to talk about St. Paul, but I want to leave you with this thought. You know, as bad as his past may be, his encounter with Christ changed him. How about for us? Maybe we struggle with something at one point in our own personal lives, but the Lord touches us too. If we truly allow Christ to enter into our hearts, we can be transformed as well. On this feast day, then, the feast day of the conversion of St. Paul, may his intercession help us to be converted personally so that we can be united more closely to Christ and be a witness to the message of his love. St. Paul, after his conversion, went all around three different missionary journeys and then the fourth one where he came back to Rome to offer his life in martyrdom for his belief.
as we celebrate then today, we also look in our own lives and ask the Lord, transform me, help me to, be, uh, to grow in my own personal conversion and my own personal journey with our Lord Jesus.